This one is a very easy question. First, I'll just show you. This is the only information that is given. And then there are these four questions. You know, simply one player score something, something about score, something about score again, something about score again, right? Something about score again, right? Okay, so this seems to be a very easy question, a very easy choice to attempt in exam. And you can apply the similar criteria, that length of the question and the language of the question. So most of the language of questions is almost around the same idea, that is score, right? So this is a good choice. Now let's try solving this. Answer the questions based on information given below. Three players, Anil, Bimal and Chaman, played in three games, A, B and C. The scores of each of them in the three games are 10, 20, 30, not in a specific order. Now, this is the most crucial information, of course. So what it means is A scores 10, 20, 30, right? B scores 10, 20, 30. C also scores 10, 20, 30. That is what it means in the three games, right? So what is the benefit here? So Anil, Bimal, Chaman, right? And here I'll write game A, game B, and game C. Okay, and total. So, I don't know where Anil has scored 10 or where 20 or where 30, but one of these three is 10, one of these three is 20, one of these three is 30. So the total score of Anil, that is going to be 60 for sure. Total score of Bimal also is going to be 60. Total score of Chaman is also going to be 60. That is what it means, right? Read it again. The scores for each of them in three games are 10, 20, 30. So A ka score, 10, 20, 30. But we don't know the order. It could be 20, 10, 30. It could be 30, 20, 10. Similarly for Bimal also, the same scores, but not, uh, the order is not very clear and so on. But the total will be 60, 60, 60. So that the overall total is 180. Overall total has to be 180. You know, so 60 plus 60 plus 60, 180. All right, very good. So here we'll write the total of game A, total of game B, total of game C and so on. Nice. What is the next information? The total runs scored by the three players here runs means the points. Okay. In the game C was 20 more than that in game A. So total in game C is 20 more than A. So if I say the total of game A is X, total of game C will be X plus 20. Right. And if I assume the total of game B to be Y. Okay. But what is it? Next is total runs scored in game B are less than those scored in game C. B is less than C. So whatever value we get here, let's say it is Y, that has to be less than X plus 20. So Y is less than X plus 20. That is one information. And the sum of all these three, that has to be 180. So add all of them, X plus Y plus X plus 20. That will give us 2X plus Y plus 20. That is 180. That will give us 2x plus y equal to 160. Another vital information, each of the scores are multiples of 10. So each of x and y should be multiples of 10. Okay, each of x and y should be multiples of 10. So from here, simply find all the solutions. I'll write here 2x plus y equal to 160. x and y both should be multiples of 10. Simply start finding solution. If I take x as 10, y will be 140. If I take x as 20, y will be, oh, but why are we doing this? Because x has to be significant large. Why? Because y has to be less than x plus 20. Okay. You see, here y is coming out of here very large. Let's start with, let's say x equal to 50. If I put x equal to, uh, or maybe let's complete the checking. 10, 20 is not happening. 30. If x is 30, then y will be 60, 100. Oh, still not correct. If I take x as 40 into 20, that is 180. So this is 80. No, still not possible because y has to be less than x plus 20. If I take 50, if I take x as 50, 50 to 200, so y will be 60, right? If I take x as, this is valid. Q, 50 plus 20 is 70. 60 is less than 70. So this is valid. Then we have 60. So 60 into 2, 40. Uh, sorry, 60 to 180, y is 40. Okay, so y is 40, 
Right. If I take x as 70, 70 into 2, 70 into 2 will be 140. So, y will be 20. So, 70 and uh, 20. But this is not possible. This is not possible because even if I take 10, 10, 10 in game B, even if I take 10, 10, 10, minimum value of y will be 30. So, only two possibilities. Check it again very carefully. Only two possibilities. Now, it's a very easy question actually, as I said earlier. Very easy question. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them here. 50, 60, 60, 40. We're just looking for integral solutions. Multiples of 10. So, if x is 50, y will be 60. If x is 40, uh, sorry, 60, then it is 40. These are the only two cases possible. So, just by the side of it, I write x plus 20 also. So, x plus 20 will be 50 plus 20, 70 and 60 plus 20, 80. So, these two are the possible scores of games A, B and C. Right? So, this is one complete possibility. This is one complete possibility. All right. And that's it. Let's go to the questions. First question. If no two persons scored the same number of runs in the game B, no two persons score, same. Okay, so in game B, all different. So if they're scoring all different, it must be 10, 20, 30. So game B score must be 60, total should be 60, right? And game B score was Y, so Y should be 60. That is what this question is telling us. Go back. So if Y is 60, oh, so only first case, 50, 60, 70. Only the first case, 50, 60, 70, right? I just write it here, 50. 60, 70. If they have all scored different, the only way it is possible it is 10, 20, 30. So total has to be 60. For y it has to be 60. So that x is 50. So that this is 70. What was the question? This is the condition. What is the question? Question is, then a total of how many runs were scored in game C? So when you score 16 in game B, it has to be 17 in game C, right? Option D is the correct answer. Very simple actually. Which of the next question, which of the following can be the total number of runs scored by the three players in game A? The scores by the three players in game A. Okay. So game A is X that is either 50 or 60. Very good. So either 50 or 60. That is second and third. Second and third. Second and third. Second, fourth. Third, fourth. Second, third. Option D is the answer. Option D, D for Delhi. Okay. This is the last one is the correct answer. Which of the following statements must be false? Total number of runs scored in game B can be 60. Yes, yes, it is. So this cannot be false. So this cannot be the answer. This cannot be the answer, right? The total number of runs scored in game C can be 60. Okay, let's check. Game C can be either 70 or 80. Okay, this is definitely false. So this is the answer of the question. Okay, because C cannot be 60. C has to be either 70 or 80. Okay, the total number of runs scored in game C can be 80. Just now we saw that 80, it is possible. So this is not the answer. Any of, okay, fine. So option B is the correct answer. Wow. If only one player scored 30 in game C, find the total run scored by the other two players in game C. If only one player scored 30. You see, in any game, if somebody, uh, if there is only one player who scores 30, then the others can score 10, 20 or 10, 20, right? So the maximum score will be, max score will be 30 plus 20 plus 20, which is not possible, is it? Or it is possible, 70. So maximum score is 70. And similarly, if I take 30, 10, 10, then the minimum score will be 50. But 50 is not possible anyways. Why? Because we are talking about game C. Remember, game C, the possible scores were only 70 and 80. So it is possible only if it is 30, 20 and 20. 30, 20 and 20. It is possible only in this manner. I repeat, in game C, the anyways, the lower score is 70 or more. That is 80. So if I'm saying that game C, somebody has scored 70. Now this is possible only when I have if only one player, then 30, 20, 20. I could have had 30, 30 and 10. But here it is saying only one player. So very clearly only one situation that is 30, 20, 20. What is the question? Find the total runs scored by the other two players in the game C. Wow. So 
other two plus 20 plus 20, 40 option A is the correct answer, right? So this was one of the very easy sets.